Hello, welcome to our show. Today we'll be taking you to a special farm in Enterprise, Alabama. Since we couldn't catch a wild quail, we'll be taking you to a place where the rings are. We'll go down to the Circle L on Highway 134 in Enterprise, Alabama. So come along as we travel to the Circle L. Sitting beside me is the proprietor here at Circle L. This is Donald Lolly. Donald, how many years have you guys been in operation? We started in 1990. We started raising quail part time in 1990. And then years later, as the demand for quail grew in our business, then we went to full time. Right, so that's 21 years. Yeah. How many birds do you think you've uh, created in, in 21 years? I don't know, over two, between two and three million probably. Wow, that's a lot of quail. <laughs> but I thank you for that. Quail's my favorite bird. I just love to watch them and uh, see them in the wild. This is, would you call this the hen house? <laughs> yeah, that's what I call the hen this house. This is the it's, hen house. It's actually our laying, our laying cage. We, we call it the hen house. The hen house. It. How many uh, hens are there in this house? Well, we've got a total of uh, 10,500. And the roosters is three to, to put hens three to one. Mm -hmm. One rooster, three hens. And so each one of our cages will hold 150 hens and 50 roosters. And okay. we put, and how I'll, big are the how big are these cages? They're four feet wide and 12 feet long. Hmm. Now see that guys, you got uh, three girlfriends. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So they lay the eggs. The eggs are harvested. How often does a female quail lay eggs? Well, they, they usually lay one about, almost one a day. Sometimes it takes 26 hours to get one. You'll skip a day every now and then, but they get well, 24 to 26 hours. I mean, 24 to 26 uh, hours they'll lay an egg. So you've got, if you've got 10,000 females or, or whatever, uh, they're still laying eggs at a constant rate. Oh yeah, we get the same, just about the same amount every day because one may not lay today, but the, the others take up the slack, and uh, uh, you'll get uh, out of 10,500, we're probably getting five or 6,000 eggs a day now. A day. Yeah, and uh, we do it by, we stimulate it by lights. Okay. By timer, we have a timer, it's on, set on five o'clock, come on now, and it goes off at eight o'clock at night, and uh, then they rest from time to five o'clock next morning. Oh. Okay, so, so how often do you come and harvest these eggs? We try to get them every two hours mm -hmm. because uh, in the heat, when it's hot, we won't, we won't start germinating. So we try to collect them every, at least every two hours. And okay, so you, you talk about heat and germination. What do you do with the eggs after you collect them from here? Well, we, we go in and put them in a flat, what we call flats, a whole 95 with those small end down. We check them for cracks and different things that might be wrong with them. And then we have a, a spray them uh, uh, the disinfectant to spray them and then we put them into some racks and put them on rollers and put them into our, uh, our what we call egg cooler uh, egg room and it's about 65 degrees in there and it keeps them kind of dormant until we get ready to put them into the how long can they stay in that well we don't never keep one over two weeks two weeks yeah okay now, how often do you uh, incubate eggs we incubate every two weeks now. Every two weeks every now. Every two weeks, yeah. And now how many eggs are incubated usually? Well, like now, like this week, uh, we're setting right now, today we're setting today, and we're getting a 44,460 in on incubator. We got, we have, we got one full, and we're gonna put uh, 
several thousand more in uh, another incubator with the pheasant and choker. So we're gonna have two full incubators. Oh, so you don't just only raise quail here, you were, you raise two other type of birds? Oh yeah, we have choker and pheasant. Okay, and they're sold to these preserves yes. so that these yes. people in the south can hunt pheasant where they would usually have to go north where pheasants grow naturally in order to hunt them. Right, we, we uh, deliver our pheasants the same way we do our quail. We cure, we cure them so many quail, they'll call them so many quail, so many pheasants, so many shelter. We deliver them all on the same load. Okay, here in this hen house, we've got all these quail, but there is one other bird here in this hen house, isn't there? Yeah, there's a chucker. The chucker quail. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about the chucker quail. Well, he's just, he's probably three times as, as large as the, uh, uh, northern Bob White, and he's 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 round looking, he's gray looking, and he has a beak that kind of turns down, and he's just a bigger. But he's a, he's, he's a quail, but we call him a church, but he's about, he's just larger. Mm -hmm. And they don't grow around here naturally, right? No, no. They're, they're mm -hmm. mostly what you have here is the more northern Bob White. Northern Bob White. Well, they're my favorite anyway. Uh, so they're they're the eggs are laid here for the chucker quail. And the bobwhite quail, but you don't raise, you don't uh, have pheasant here on the premises. No, we have them in a, 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 one of our chicken houses. Are they are they raised any different than the quail? I mean, do they need longer daylight hours, cooler no, weather, anything that's different? Not, not really. They they about the same. They they close to the same thing. We just. Uh, but we we, uh, we do them by lights just like we do these. We, if we don't want to start laying so early and lay out so we keep it, the uh, chicken house dark mm -hmm. and then we'll lighten it up when we get one ready of them start laying. Well, what it, what it, what is your um, your production of quail? Do you have a lot of people wanting quail? Well, yeah, we have, we have, uh, we, the quail that we raised, we already got them booked. We, for uh, game preserves, different people want them to, to put them on the game preserves and different things. And uh, we, we raise by bookings and we, we very seldom raise we might raise just a few more than what we've got booked, just in case something happens. But uh -huh. most of the time we raise what we've what we got booked. Oh, good. Okay, so you not only sell the, the grown birds, but you also sell the hatchlings and the eggs? Yes, we sell eggs, biddies and grown birds. Okay, who, who would want just the eggs? Well, it's another grower, kind of like we are. The competition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's what kind of a Christian man this is. He'll sell to the competition. And they'll, and they'll even do better because these are quality birds, by the way. Uh, if you've ever seen one of their quail, they're they're wild. Uh, well, I went with Garrett the other day, and he took us to a house where they put it, put down uh, two fifty thousand birds. I don't know how many, but I mean they were just like ants all over the place. And for the first three days, they they'll come to you, right? All right. They're looking for the mother. Looking for mom. After that. These guys just leave them alone. They they fear man. They they take on their natural instincts. And when they are sold out of here, full grown, they're just as, as wild as if they were grown on their own and under out in the field. And I appreciate that as as a person and as a Christian that these birds are not inhumanely uh, in any way. They're well cared for. They're clean. They're healthy. Everything is, is done in a very, very precise way. It's, and that, that, nothing ever changes. It's always the same, one, two, three. And the birds are, are well, fantastic birds. And I, I just gotta say thank you for that. And you know, God loves you guys and, and God loves all your birds. When I look into this cage, I see birds that mostly look alike, but I know that there's males and there's females. How do we tell the difference between a male and a female? Well, your male, if you notice, you see some of the white stripes on yep. there. Your male has got white stripes on his head. He'll be white under his throat, and he'll have white stripes on his head, and that's the male. The female is brown. She'll okay. be brown on her throat, and she'll have uh, stripes on the side. They'll be brown, too. So she's a uh, female is brown. Okay, there's one right there. Okay, that, that's, that's something I didn't know. Uh, hopefully that's something you learned. Uh,
so they can get to the houses and raise and grow up and mate and get eggs again. Um, after we collect the eggs, we put them in the egg room for up to seven days, and then we set them in the incubator. Um, on the 17th and 18th day, we transfer them to the hatchers, which they hatch out on 23 days. We're closing to the entire process, hatching the eggs. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Through the entire process? Yeah, the entire process. Well, I mean, we got, we got to produce our eggs, which come from the hens and the roosters in the hen house. Um, we, we collect eggs two hours, every two hours, every day. We grade the eggs. Eggs are sanitized, put into the egg room, kept at 55 to 58 degrees with about a 70% humidity, uh, which down here in South Alabama, you don't have to worry about humidity too much because you got so much in the air, it doesn't really affect your eggs with that. Um, and we keep them, we try not to keep eggs anything over seven days until we have a setting. We set eggs on a Monday, it takes 23 days to hatch. They come out on a Wednesday, which is today. And as you see, that's how long it takes, 23 days. Okay. How long will the females be able to lay eggs? As long as we keep them all lights. Okay. Um, natural, the way Mother Nature and the way God designed any kind of wild bird with daylight hours is what um, incorporates the reproductive organs in birds. That's why you don't have chicks in the winter time. God knew that they wouldn't survive, so he makes them, when the daylight hours start getting long in the spring, the reproductive systems in the birds engage, they start laying clutches. Well, so that tells me that in a controlled environment, if I if I control the light length on my days, I can have these birds lay year round. They will go through a molt um, that you could. They will they will peak out at about 80% lay. Um, start out probably getting 30 to 40% lay. They'll peak out about 80, then they'll drop back down to about 65% and sometime in August. And from then on till we turn the lights out, you get about 65% of your hands laying eggs every day. That's the last question.